Hello, it's the underdog here, and today I want to talk to you about efficient multiplication with fours, sixes, sevens, and eights. Elementary. If you haven't watched the previous video dealing with tens, fives, and nines, I highly recommend that you watch that video as we'll be making use of terms previously established and demonstrated in that video. Let's start with multiples of 4. At first glance, you might assume that you'd use the 5's technique and minus 1, but it's actually more efficient to use the double up method. The double up method is simple. You take a number, double it, and then double it again. So, let's say we have, we double it, which gives us the answer of, which is the original number times by 2. And now we double it again, which gives us the original number times by 4. As it so happens, we can use the double up method again to get multiples of 8. For multiples of 8, you can alternatively use the transfer 0 technique. And simply deduct the original number times by 2. You can use whichever method for multiples of 8 you think is fastest. The double up method takes one more calculation for 8s than the 10s deducted by 2s trick. But some people find doubling up a lot easier than taking away. Calculating multiples of 6s has two approaches. One of which is the 5s method plus one multiple. The other of which is the double up method again, but instead re-adding the multiple of 2 to the multiple of 4. So let's do the 5's method plus 1 approach. Take a number, transfer the zeros, halve it to get the 5's multiple, then add one of the original number, which gives you the 6 multiple of the number. The other approach uses the double up method. Add up the number twice. This gives you the 2's multiple. Now double it. This gives you the 4's multiple. Then finally, add the 4's multiple to the 2's multiple. And you'll get the multiple of 6. To get a 7's multiple, there's two methods. The 5's method and the subtraction method. As you've correctly guessed, the 5's method for 7's is essentially the same as the 5's method for multiples of 6. Except you add two multiples instead of one multiple. To do the 5's method, transfer the zeros, divide it by 2, and then we multiply the original number by 2, then we add it to the number we got from the 5's method. The subtraction method is a bit different. First, we use the 10's trick on the original number. Then we add up the number 3 times. Then you subtract that number from the one we got from the tens method earlier. And that's how you do fours, sixes, sevens and eights. I won't be covering multiplication for ones, twos or threes, as these are straightforward enough to calculate. I will cover other techniques for maths, spelling and other subjects in my future videos. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos, and be sure to leave feedback in the form of a comment. This is The Underdog, over and out. And today's controversial subject is Duracell batteries, more specifically the button batteries which have been known to kill and harm toddlers if they swallow it. Duracell are capable of switching to safer batteries but at the moment they're refusing to do so and thus this petition is about getting them to switch over to the safer set of batteries. So be sure to cite that. Anyway, thank you for taking this time. I'll see you in the next video.